हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ मिस फातमा टीचर ऑफ क्लास टू फ्रॉम द स्मार्ट स्कूल सर सैद अहमद खान कैंपस एंड गुलिस्तान जौहर कैंपस स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एडिशन विद कैरिंग ऑफ टू डिजिट नंबर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू रिकॉल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्लेस वैल्यू सो हैव अ लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल कन्वर्ट नाइनटीन यूनिट्स इन टू टेंस एंड यूनिट्स students as you all know that 19 is a two digit number that means it will be placed under the units place under the place of units and tens so what will be the place value of 19 in 19 there is 110 and 9 units there is 110 and 9 units students when there are more than 10 objects of the same type they can be converted to a group of tens okay students when there are more than 10 objects of the same type they can be converted to a group of tens just as we have learned in the previous example of 19 that we had more than 10 units so they can be grouped into a group of tens and units have a look at few more examples when we add 6 units and 5 units what will be the answer the answer will be 11 units what will be the answer when we add 6 plus 5 units the answer will be 11 units so students what will be the place value of 11 units again since 11 is a two digit number it will be placed under the place of units and tens so in 11 we have 110 and 1 unit let's have a look at another example 7 units plus 9 units so students when we add 7 units and 9 units they will be equal to 16 units and what will be the place value of 16 in 16 we have 110 and 6 units they have we have 110 and 6 units now students we are moving on to our topic that is addition by carrying over of two digit numbers when we are adding two digit numbers we have to follow few steps have a look at this example which is taken from your book we have to follow few steps here in this example we have to add 48 and 25 now first of all we will we will place 48 and 25 under the units and tens place so in 48 4 will be placed under tens column and 8 will be placed under units column and in the same way in 25 2 will be placed under tens column and 5 will be placed under units column Now let's move on to the first step. In the first step students we will start adding the numbers in units place. Do remember students we always start adding the numbers that are present in units place. So here in units place we have 8 units and 5 units. Now let's add them together. When we add 8 units and 5 units they will be equal to 13 units. So students can we place 13 units together in the units column No we we can't we can do that because 13 is a two digit number So what will we do as i've told you that when we have more than 10 units they can be grouped into a group of tens and units So we will group we will regroup 13 units into a group of tens and units So in 13 units we have 3 units and 110. So 3 units will be placed under the units column and 110 will be carried over in the tens column. Moving on to the tens column. Now we are going to add the digits of tens column. We will add the digits of tens column that is 4 tens and 2 tens along with 110 that is carried over. So 110 plus 4 tens plus 2 tens will be equals to 7 tens. 
So the answer of 48 plus 25 will be 73. Got it students? Let's have a look at few more examples. We have to add 17 and 9. So students again, first of all we will place these numbers in the place of units and tens. So in 17, 1 will be placed under tenths column and 7 will be placed under units column. And 9, since 9 is a one digit number, so this will be placed under units column. Now students, we will start by adding the numbers in units column. As you all know, as I have already told you that we will start adding the digits in units column. So let's add 7 units and 9 units. When we add 7 and 9, they will be equal to 16 units. So students, can I write 16 units together in the units column? No, we cannot do that. So what will we do? We will regroup 16 units into a group of 10 and units. So in 16 units, we have 1 10 and 6 units. So units will be placed under the units column. So we will place 6 units under units column and 110 will be carried over in the tens column. We will place 6 under the units column and 110 will be carried over in the tens column. Now we will add the numbers in the tens column. We have 110 and 110 that will be equals to 210. So students when we add 17 plus 9 they will be equals to 26 or 2 tens and 6 units. That will form 26. Next example. Find the sum of 89 and 9. Now here we have to add 89 and 9. Now let's start this sum by placing 89 and 9 under the place of units and tens. So in 89, 8 will be placed under tens column and 9 will be placed under units column and the other 9 that we have to add will be placed under units column. So students let's start adding the digits of units column. When we add 9 units plus 9 units that will be equal to 18 units and we can't write 18 units in the units column together. So what will we do? The place value of what will we do? We will group 18 in a group of tens and units. So in 18 there is 1 10 and 8 units. So we will place 8 units under the units column and 1 10 will be carried over in the tens column. So now let's add the numbers in the tens column. In tens column we have 1 10 and 8 tenths. When we add 1 10 and 8 tenths, that will be equals to 9 tenths. So the answer of 89 plus 9 will be equals to 98. Moving on to the next example. Let's add 44 plus 6. Again students, we will place 44 under the place of units and tenths. So 4 will be placed under the tens column and 4 and the other 4 will be placed under the units column and 6 will be placed under the units column. Now let's start adding the digits of units column first. In units column we have 4, ten, four units and 6 units. When we add 4 units and 6 units that will be equal to 10 units. So in 10 units we have 1, 10 and 0 units. So what will we do? We will place 0 units under the unit column and 1, 10 will be carried over in the tens column. Now students, we will add the digits of tens column. In tens column, we have 1, 10 and 4 tens. Now let's add them. What will be the answer of 4 plus 5, 4 plus 1? 4 plus 1 will form 5 tenths. 
So the answer of 44 plus 6 will be 50. Next example. Add 15 and 75. So students, let's place them under the column of units and tens. In 15, 1 will come under the tens column and 5 will come under units column. And in the same way, 7 will come under tens column and 8 will come under the units column. So students, now what are we going to do? We will be adding the digits in the units column first. So in units column, we have 5 units and 8 units. So let's add them. What will be their sum? The sum of 5 units and 8 units will be equal to 13 units. But can we write 13 in units column together? No, we can't. So what will we do? We will regroup 13 units into a group of 10s and units. In 13 units, we have 1, 10 and 3 units. So 3 units will be placed under the units column and 1, 10 will be carried over in the 10s column. Now students, let's, let's add the digits of 10s column. In 10s column, we have 1, 10, 1, 10 and 7 tenths. When we add 1, 10, 1, 10 and 7 tenths, they will be equals to ten, 9 tenths. That means the sum of 15 plus 78 will be equals to 93. Next example. In this example, we have to add 57 and 25. Let's place them under the tens and units column. 57. In 57, 5 will come under tens column and 7 will come under the units column. And in 25, 2 will come under the tens column and 5 will come under the units column. Now students, let's start adding the digits of the units column. In unit column, we have 7 units and 5 units. When we add 7 units and 5 units, that will be equal to 12 units. Let's regroup 12 units into a group of 10s and units. In 12 units, we have 1, 10 and 2 units. So we will place 2 units under the unit column and 1, 10 will be carried over in the 10s column. Now moving on to the 10s column, let's add the digits in the 10s column. In 10s column, we have 1, 10, 5, 10s and 2, 10s. When we add 1, 10, 5, tenths and 2, tenths, that will be equal to 8, tenths. So the answer of 57 plus 25 will be equal to 82. Another example. Add 59 and 37. So students, again let's place them under the units and the tenths column. All the two digit numbers are placed under the value under the place of units and column uh, units and tens. So students in 59 5 will come under tens column and 9 will come under the units column. And in the same way in 37 3 will come under the tens column and 7 will come under the units column. Now let's start solving this sum by adding the digits in units column. In units column, we have 9 units and 7 units. When we add 9 units and 7 units, that will be equals to 16 units. But we can't write 16 units in the units column. So what will we do? We will regroup 16 units into a group of tens and units. In 16 units, we have 1, 10 and 6 units. In 16 units, we have... 1, 10 and 6 units. So 6 units will come under the units column and 1, 10 will be carried over in the tenths column. Now what will we do? We will add the digits in the tenths column. So in tenths column we have 1, 10, 5 tenths and 3 tenths. When we add 1, 10, 5 tenths and 3 tenths that will be equals to 9 tenths. So students, the answer of 59 
plus 37 will be equals to 96. So students, isn't it easy? Did you enjoy this topic? We have practiced so many sums of addition by carrying over of two digit numbers. I hope you all have found this topic very interesting and I want all of you to practice this at home to be good at this topic, to, under to, to understand this topic in a better way. So students, I hope you all have enjoyed today's lesson. Take care of yourself. Thank you.